So in this video, I am going to be installing Fedora in a laptop. So this is the Fedora website and this is the latest release. It's 39. So I'm going to download the ISO file and I'm also going to create a bootable USB drive with that ISO file. So I'm going to download the workstation. I'm going to click download now. And I'm going to choose the first option. This is for Intel and AMD systems. I'm going to click download and it's downloading. So I'm going to be using Rufus to create that bootable USB drive. So this is the Rufus website and I need to download the exe file. So I already downloaded Rufus. So on Fedora's website, there's documentation so where you can read. So for example, this is the system requirements and it only requires about 40 gigabytes of SSD disk and 4 gigs of RAM. This is recommended and this is for the workstation installation. So in the search bar, I'm going to type Rufus. This is the exe file. So I'm using a 16 gigabyte USB drive. So on the boot selection, I have to choose the file. I'm going to click select. It's on my desktop. I'll click open. I'm going to leave everything as is. So it automatically gives a volume label. I'll click start. Click OK. Click yes. So it gives you a warning. It's going to delete everything from the USB drive. I'm going to click OK. And it's creating the USB drive. So this is the BIOS boot menu of the laptop. So I'm going to go to setup. So you want to make sure that you can boot up from the USB and also you want to disable secure boot. So this is the specs of the computer. The installed memory is 16 gigs. It has an Intel core processor. So I'll click config. Click on USB and it's always on. Click on security and I'll select secure boot. I'll turn it off. And I'll click save and exit. So I'm going to boot up from the USB. I'm going to select the first option, that Fedora Workstation Live. So okay, I get to this page, welcome to Fedora. I'll click on install Fedora. So I have to select a language here, so it's English and it's English United States. I'll click continue. So here is where you can change the keyboard layout. You can also change the time and date. Right now it's right. The keyboard is English. So the time and date is correct. It's New York time zone. And under system, this is the hard drive. Installation destination. Automatic partitioning selected. I'm going to click on it. So the size of the hard drive on the laptop is 500 gigs. I'm going to select it. And under storage configuration, I'm going to leave it as automatic. I'm going to select free up space by removing or shrinking existing partitions. I'll click done. So this laptop has a previous installation of Windows. So I'm going to delete all of those. And I'll click Reclaim Space. So I'm going to click Begin Installation. And the installation has started. So it's installing the bootloader. So it's complete. So it says Fedora is now successfully installed and ready to use. So I'm going to click finish installation and it's going to reboot. Okay, so the laptop is rebooted. So this is a setup page. It says welcome to Fedora Linux 39. I'm going to click start setup. So I could connect to the Wi-Fi here, but I'm already connected by the Ethernet cable. I'm going to click skip. So this is the privacy page and this is the location services and automatic problem reporting. I'll turn off the location services. I'm going to click next. So this is the third party repositories. This is if you want to access additional software from selected external sources. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to click next. 
This is if you want to connect to online accounts, Google, Nextcloud, Microsoft. I'm going to skip that. So I'm going to type a username. It says full name. I'm going to type John. So the full name is John. The username is John. I'm going to click next. I'm going to type a password. I'll retype the password. I'll click next. And it's all done. I'm going to click start using Fedora. Okay, so Firefox is automatically installed in Fedora. So this is the calendar. So this is the files app. So these are a list of the folders, desktop documents, downloads, music, videos. So this is the app grid. I'm going to click on it. So these are a list of apps that came with Fedora. It has a LibreOffice writer. I'll open that. There's a system monitor. There's a text editor and there's a terminal here. Here are the utilities. There's also an image viewer and you can drag and drop your images, your pictures, JPEG or PNG here. There's a software app here. I'm going to click on that and there's explore, installed and updates. So you can install any one of these. There's a whole bunch of apps that you can install. You can choose from any one of these categories. So these are a list of the apps that I installed and you can uninstall them. So this is the updates tab and there are some updates here. So this is the laptop that Fedora is installed in and there are some updates for that. So on the right side, there's a main menu icon. I'm going to click on that. There's the software repositories. So if you want to install like third party applications, you have to enable it. And here it is, Fedora third party repositories, and you want to make sure it's enabled. So for example, I want to install Google Chrome browser. All I have to do is just scroll down and it's here, Google Chrome. You want to make sure it's enabled. And in order to install it, just click on the search icon here. I'm going to type Chrome. So I'll click install and it's installing. So Google Chrome browser is installed. I'll open it, click OK. So you can search for different apps here and install it. For example, Discord. And I can install it just by clicking install and it's installing the Discord app. So if I want to change the background, I can just right click the desktop, click change background. And it's under appearance. And I can just change it here. I can also add pictures. So the speaker icons, the network icon and the battery icon are all the way on top. If I click those, it tells me that I'm connected by the Ethernet cable. I can also connect by Wi-Fi. I can connect Bluetooth. There's the power mode setting, nightlight keyboard, dark style. And this is the settings icon. I'll click on that and here a list of settings. I can also click on users and I can add more users. I just have to click on unlock, type the password, click add user and type in a name and a username. I'll type a username. I can enable administrator so I can give this user administrator rights. And under password, I can set the password now or user sets password on first login. I can add a printer. I just have to click on printers and I can add a printer here. So I'll click on apps and these are a list of apps that I installed and I can select anyone and I can get details so I can open. So if I want to update Fedora, I just have to click on the software app, click on updates, and I can click on restart and updates. I can also update Fedora by using the terminal app. I just have to type terminal. And I'll type this command. So I'll type sudo yum check update. I have to type the password. 
and their updates. So I'm going to type sudo yum update. Hit enter. I'll type y for yes. Hit enter. And it's downloading packages. I'll type y for yes. Hit enter. So this is the laptop that Fedora was installed in. And the touch screen works. So in this video, I installed Fedora in a laptop and the uh, installation was successful. So I want to thank you for watching and I want to thank you for subscribing.